so guys before talking about ai circuit design tool or basically using artificial intelligence what guys are doing um outside uh, to come up with tools uh, with some kind of automation where you draw schematics automatically or do pcb design automatically first let us try to understand what the tools at our dispose at the moment does see like for example we have altium designer we have orcad we have eligro uh, we have keycad so basically there are several uh, circuit design and uh, pcb design tools this is just uh, uh, four names but there are many there is dx designer there is uh, proteus there are a lot of things so uh, these are just used uh, for uh, indicating the circuit design tools names so what do what does these softwares do these softwares basically provide a gui based solution and you just pull out the components onto the sheet and try to connect them um, and uh, do your uh, schematic and then again uh, you do the routing between the components to do a pcb layout right so that means what we are doing is manually we are connecting the components and uh, trying to uh, come up with a design uh, which actually uses commands in the background but only GUI and manual um, connectivity is done at the front end. So that's what all these circuit design uh, tools do. Now, with the boom of uh, artificial intelligence, intelligence that is coming in, there is a reverse uh, uh, that is happening. So um, what is that? happening and let us talk about one of the AI circuit design tool um, which is uh, uh, which helps us design circuits let us go to that and then we will see what this actually AI based circuit design tools are doing so today we are going to talk about JITX okay so this is one of the um, electronic design tool uh, which is uh, uh, in the market right now which helps to design your uh, um, circuit and uh, um, the PCB uh, using the A tools. So what are actually they, are do, uh, they do? So what they do is basically they are trying to bring everything uh, the schematic design, the PCB layout activity, uh, the design rule checks that we do, and uh, uh, the, uh, the routing, all these into a programmatic environment. That means you are writing, you are actually going to write a code. Example: To add a component to a schematic, you are going to write a code. If you are, if you want to connect a component to component between pins of a um, two pins of components um, you have to write a code so basically what uh, uh, we are actually uh, going to get from JTEX is a software based environment which helps to connect the um, different uh, um, circuits and uh, layout PCBs so uh, they also, if you see, this is their website which talks about uh, the tools that they have designed uh, using um, JTEX. Okay, so the most important point that they are talking is, for example, uh, the reusability of the circuits. So, what are we going to talk, um, mention about reusability here? So, reusability means, example, let us assume there are some airway of uh, resistors pull-ups on a lines okay see these pull-ups let us assume they are going to connect to a single um, supply of 3.3 volts so in uh, normal design tools like altium keycad and all this what do we do we draw a line and then make them all common now in these tools basically we can um, connect all of them by using a single command and or 
some simple set of comments and if you have a same scenario being replicated in another board you just copy this code there and you are going to um, <coughs> reuse uh, that entire code into that board so that's what the simple thing brings and then the rules can be written by us as a software code and uh, the schematic review also happens automatically so now previously uh, we used to use the um, software that was there in the background in the existing EDA tools but uh, just click of a particular section helps us run the DRC or enabling a DRC would run and we specifically didn't have control on what the DRC does here we are going to write our own rules as a code here okay and <clears throat> Uh, basically, um, you can see here, uh, design schematic in code, run checks in code, place in code, place means placement basically, auto root with a, order your board. So these are the steps that JTEX is going to follow. So that uh, is uh, basically they have a workflow uh, from the requirements. So basically how we are going to capture these is basically we uh, um, there will be some kind of uh, <clears throat> commands which will be given and based on that um, the place of uh, the component selection and um, the connectivity uh, happens okay so now for a simple example what they are talking is for example if you want to add uh, a stm32 microcontroller to a schematic you can see how they are adding they add this uh, um, instance of uh, a microcontroller which has a specific mpn uh, <coughs> and specific parameters uh, has been uh, added here so now if you want to add this stm32 next time it's just uh, uh, copying the code and uh, adding there and then uh, if uh, if uh, we see um, how uh, the connectivity happens so uh, what they do is basically um, they are going to uh, use again a command based tool uh, to write here and um, also select the interface for a particular uh, microcontroller so that's what uh, uh, these guys are going to do and then you can see here these are the design rule checks which are being done in a um, in a uh, sequence of uh, uh, commands that are written and you can also see here um, alternate component can also be uh, added uh, because there is a lot of uh, supply chain uh, deception that is happening right component availability and uh, GTX, uh, uh, if you go through the website and to their blog you can see uh, a simple usb cable tester pcb design uh, uh, is provided so this is the pcb uh, design that example they have provided uh, where uh, they talk about uh, how reusability is going to help and what are all the repeated tasks that can be handled easily uh, a, a simple example uh, has been provided so you can see here these are all the um, namings placements and <clears throat> basically calculating uh, the series race all uh, series resistor values for the leds all these uh, uh, have been done um, and uh, you, you can go through this particular uh, example to understand um, the amount of coding so ultimately what a based circuit design tools are doing in the market are um, like GTEx are doing are they are actually bringing the software to the forefront um, <clears throat> and trying to analyze um, uh, make the things simpler avoiding user made mistakes uh, and also help uh, the schematics and PCBs done easily by improving and the reusability um, and uh, this is what uh, the users want right so they are uh, basically offering a free um, trial as well uh, so you can just go through their uh, their website and just start a trial uh, to see how uh, this particular tool works so 
the eight base circuit design tools are slowly getting into the market um, and driving um, the hardware designs as well which was not thought of before